I'm Chacha Peter Mwangi, and I'd like to give a brief definition and description about classification. A problem where we'll basically when we start from the initial data set, uh, process wise, until where we create our models. So basically, when we go with initial data set, we will need what you call like an exploratory data analysis where this is the process where you use things um, principles like uh, the principal component analysis the self-organizing maps so in this basically you uh, need to do what we call the data cleaning data curation and basically we need something like uh, the removal of redundant or the variations where you need the variables, there are variables that they will be present in your data, which they will be of no need. So we'll do what we call the redundant features. So we, after that, we'll come to a process of the pre-processing, and basically that's still the introduction of what we do in pre-processing. In pre-processing, we'll do what to say the feature selection and feature extraction. In feature selection, there is we select the relevant data or the relevant features that we need in the data. Then there is, we discuss the relevant, and this is in an example of when you use a data that's collected for uh, checking the mileage of cars. Uh, in checking the mileage of cars, if you have a data like the top speed and about something like engine capacity and color. In color, we will not be needing it, so the only thing we'll do it's an irrelevant data, so we'll do what uh, say the you eliminate the uh, the variable. Then from that we'll go to what we call data splitting. And coming to data splitting, this basically where the bu uh, model building process starts. So if you'll be building a classification model, here is basically where you start from, where you uh, need to separate the data into uh, the training set and the test set, where you can also separate it more further into a validation test, uh, test uh, depending on the data that you have. So in the training set, this is basically where you will, uh, in the da uh, data splitting when you'll be using the training set, you'll basically need to check on it. You can give the 80% of it, 20% in a test set, depending on how you use it. So you may use the learning algorithms because you'll be starting to build your uh, model. And now building your model, you are talking about now the prediction model. In the prediction model, you can use something like the su uh, support vector machine, the deep learning algorithm, the gradient boost uh, machine, the KNRS, uh, uh, the decision trees, the random forest. So all of them you'll be using. Uh, you may use one of the algorithm so that you may be able to create your model. So in the creating of your model, yeah, you will need, now it's where you will use, uh, you can create models like the cross-validation model, the trained model. In the trained model, uh, a trained model is created where the data that you are using in the training set, when you are running it on the algorithm that you had, you now there is a trend that it had already read from it. So, in the training model, you'll get what you call the Y values. Maybe you're using an X and Y values as the variables in your data. So you'll use the Y vari uh, uh, values, whereby the Y values, you uh, uh, in the data that you need now to test, because now you'll be testing the uh, model that you've already cre uh, created. Now you test using the, maybe the X values. So you try to evaluate the model, its performance. And evaluating its performance, you may evaluate into two, uh, 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 the two processes. Whereby you may say the classification or the regression. The regression usually have the square, uh, uh, the square errors where you have the MS, uh, MSC, the RMSC. Then in classification, you have what you call accuracy, specificity, then and maybe the sensitivity. So, and. Um, that uh, in that process you'll be able now to test even your uh, model and if your model pursues uh, and getting a chance even 
to going into an 80%, 90%. Now with the prediction model, it will be a model that will be capable for you to even use into other, other data sets. And now in this case, when we're using the classification problem, we may use what you call, uh, while you're coding it, you use what the training DF, or the DF, the data frames, the test DF, so you may, and then you will be needed now to use a, what you call a transform model. Then you will need to import, you may import a, a logistic regression, which will use the impo uh, also importation of string, indexer, and one hot encoder and vector assembly. Thank you, and that's basically.